Hello and welcome back to another NVR video. Marcus here. Today we're jumping into Cyber Drifter. This fast paced action arcade shooter that borrows an art style from Tron and with boss battles that make you feel like you're in the lawnmower man definitely has something going for it. Developed and published by Uzi Games, is available on Steam and the Oculus Store and is compatible with the Oculus Rift, the HTC Vive and the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. The game offers stand up and room scale options and looks like it's going to be tons of fun. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to Cyber Drifter. Today I'm going to go through the options real quick and then we're going to go straight into some gameplay. So let's do this. For options they offer smooth locomotion so I have that set up. By default you have to move with the, the trigger and the grip on the left controller which is kind of strange. But since they offer smooth locomotion I'm using it. I'm right handed so that's my natural position. Um, smooth rotation also. The smooth rotation they offer that. By default there's no rotation and you just got to look around to shoot which is also very good but I'm just a fan of smooth locomotion so I'm gonna stick to that um, for movement direction I went with the head direction because when you got the, code, the controller direction it drifts in the direction that your controller is facing so if you're looking left and you have got the controller going right it's kind of counterintuitive for me so I just keep it on head direction and since I got my VR legs I tend to play all games on fast by default, it is, I'm not actually sure. I just went straight to fast because that's how I play. Um, they offer super sampling. It was set to 1.5. By default, I left it there. I haven't moved it. Hand color. I have it on blue, but they have gold, green, purple, white. And back to blue. So that's that. Um, I've already unlocked the first four stages. And we have a leaderboard that I'm not good enough to be a part of. So that's everything in the options menu. Let's jump into some gameplay. In the world of Cyber Drifter by Uzi Games, it got that really Tron-esque feeling with a lot of neon colors and sharp lines, which is pretty cool. And here goes our digital hang glider. Zero ammunition, so we're gonna have to fill up. And my health is, well, is maxed out. But game is fairly fast-paced, and I currently have no shield, so gonna have to be mindful of that. Let's go, let's go. Oh.
a boss battle coming. Let's play. Oh yeah, let's play, buddy. Hmm, nostalgia just kicked in. It feels like gyro might. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's go. Whoa. Ooh. Uh, little sense of inertia going on there. Oh, yeah. Scan, scan, buddy, scan. Oh, look at you. Oh, snakey big dude. Oh, ammo, ammo. Oh, not much of a challenge there. Okay. Okay, Crimson Ghost, um, level complete, 7,120. 18,000. Okay, I'm definitely not in the top 20. Shoot to continue. Let's do this. Let's do this. What's next? Oh, oh, I feel like I'm getting shot out already.
Okay. Curious little worm. What? So. <sighs> okay, okay. Crimson Ghost level complete. Score fifteen thousand. Oh crap! Look, I'm, I'm I'm creeping up on this. Um, Shane for games at twentieth spot. Fifteen thousand eighteen. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, 49 rounds, full health, no shield. All right. I don't like big open spaces. Usually something going on here. everywhere. Man, you got a shield, I see that. Alright. Oh, no shield now. Nah, what? 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 Eat it. Eat it. Oh. I need some. I need some. I'm running low on ammo. Okay, okay. But I'm out of round. Missed it, missed it. Okay, more rounds. Let me fill up on ammo before I try to move forward. 99, okay, I'm up, I'm good. Um, so, I 
Everybody. Go up. Oh. What? What? Oh, that a little bit too slow. Okay, what now? Don't you? You ain't dead. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. okay. I got everything. Let's move forward, everybody. Let's move forward. Not so fast, worm. Worm. <laughs> worm is kicking your butt, buddy. Okay, Crimson Ghost level. 23,000. Oh, yeah, I'm at 23,000. So, bow, 10th spot. What? Um, okay, Crimson Ghost level shoot. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, I, I just I love the colors, you know, it's just this whole neon feeling. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. I think I just discovered something by accident. I need my shield. Gotta deflect rounds to knock down their shield. Okay, two of them is too much. Let's do this. He looked like re reinforced of a smaller flying guy. Okay, get out of the line of sight with this cannon thing. Definitely fast. Oh. What the? Oh. 
I think I messed up. I think I was supposed to deflect and take that shield up there down. Follow me, follow me. Come attack me over here. Come attack me over here. I, I need to deflect some stuff. You gonna come back? You're just gonna stay up there. Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, come after me, come after me. Chase me, yeah, chase me. Yeah, I think I've reached a dead end. I think I know what I did and how I messed up. Follow me. Because I can't deflect your rounds. Are you following me? Did I make you mad? Guess I didn't make you mad enough. Are you staying over here? Maybe after I killed you some more more enemies will spawn. I think I needed to reflect one of those cannons up there. But, okay, uh, I'm gonna go into the options and part with some parting words on this. For me, the control is definitely not natural holding when you're holding the Oculus Touch controllers. It feels like it was optimized for the HTC Vive ones because I have to hold my hand upwards to shoot straight. If I just put it natural, like I'm shooting a gun, I'm shooting down. I don't know. And it's while it's definitely more pronounced with the left hand, holding my hand natural like I'm shooting a gun, I'm pretty much shooting at the floor. So that's about the, the only thing I have to say about this that the devs could probably work on to ensure that um, Oculus Rift players are having a more comfortable, more fluid gameplay. And aside from that, I don't see much wrong with the game. It's an early access. It's plenty fun. It's really fast paced. It got a great art style. And that's about it. Um, obviously, I got stuck at that point because I messed up, but I'm pretty sure I could just restart the level and do that over. But I'm um, going to part with this. Um, let's support these indie devs and these early access games because they're definitely innovating for the platform. And you know what? They're making great experiences and games for a platform we love so much so with that said i'm marcus thanks for watching and i'm signing out deuces